At the Department of Human Services, both buildings on Spruce Street have leaky, worn-out pipes covered with asbestos insulation. Water-stained ceiling tiles throughout both buildings provide lasting evidence. At times, DHS employees have been called upon to provide some unique solutions to safely drain the water. The buildings are now right next to the expanded Interstate Highway 25, and evidence of poor ventilation is everywhere. It could be exhaust from being so close to the freeway, um, or just age. This presentation was first shown at a Board of County Commissioners meeting in June of 2010, and it was shared over a period of several months with multiple neighborhood, business, and civic groups, and at numerous town hall meetings. By then, the list of urgent and critical facilities needs identified by the Citizens' Budget Oversight Committee had topped $300 million. And then there's the parking situation. Parking is a nightmare. There are 307 parking spaces for 415 employees and hundreds of clients who enter the buildings every day. The department processes as many clients as possible on an appointment basis to maximize available waiting areas and make the most of the limited parking. But despite these efforts, the DHS parking problems spread throughout the entire neighborhood. Today, the Department of Human Services is not causing a neighborhood parking problem. In fact, clients and employees have easy access to a thousand parking spaces in a covered garage right next door to the department's new home on Garden of the Gods Road. Work is also progressing on the next strategic moves, which will relocate El Paso County Public Health and the Pikes Peak Workforce Center into the new facility, giving citizens a one-stop shop for many county government and affiliated agency services. The Workforce Center is in leased facilities with inadequate parking, and the Health Department... We've really grown out of the building, and we can't really upgrade this building any further. The HVAC system is worn out. It's old and terribly inefficient. It's uncontrollable. On a routine basis, the temperatures fluctuate from 55 to 80 degrees. But when the system is left unattended, temperatures in the building have ranged from 30 to 120 degrees. Uh, they're very uh, nervous um, because they, they're not sure what's going to happen during the day. And of course, you know, they uh, know they have to wear a jacket. They dress in layers and they're prepared. This summer, following the moves of the Health Department and the Workforce Center, the offices of the Treasurer, Assessor, and clerk and recorder will move into the facility, and citizens will have a one-stop convenient location to access services from El Paso County and affiliated agencies. Our strategic moves plan was developed last year, and throughout the course of the year, we repeatedly stumbled over what to call this new facility. It was, after all, the former Intel building. But the county did not buy the chip fabrication facility next door, and that's what most people see when they visualize Intel. The real estate broker called it GG1. That doesn't mean anything to much of anyone. It was marketed formally as the Corporate Ridge Administration Building, and in fact, that's what the county bought. But in Colorado terms, that's hardly a ridge, and it's no longer corporate. The Garden of the Gods Road facility sounds more like a restroom in the Garden of the Gods City Park. So it didn't take long for almost everyone affiliated with our Strategic Moves initiative to migrate to a term that fits the purpose of this new county facility. It's a service center for county citizens. So today, we are asking the Board of County Commissioners to consider the adoption of the name Citizen Service Center to reflect the true purpose and intent of this facility.